Hi everyone, I'm Sil Wolf and this is a request and also a shout out for Pat Super Pals. Now Pat suggested that I have a look at the Magic Mixies Cauldron and Crystal Ball. I went for the Crystal Ball. Um, I don't know why, that's just the one I typed into Google. I don't know anything about this other than you make a magical incantation and a little creature appears that can tell your fortune. The Well I know the Crystal Ball has won a toy award um, and I think the Cauldron has as well. They're made by Moose Toys, who did the uh, Mama Surprise guinea pig set that I uh, unboxed last year. And they're also, Moose Toys also does the uh, little live pets as well. So I quite like the thinking behind their, their sort of like sets of toys. I think they're quite clever. I've heard that this set is so fun that even adults get involved. And that it's been a kind of a thing on TikTok as well, or at least the cauldron has. Um... So let's find out more about it. So the packaging is nicely minimalistic. You've got some pretty artwork on it and it's in several different languages because of course I live in the UK so we have it in like French and Spanish and loads of other languages here which is how it's been for years. Um, so there's a lot of writing but not very much of it can I understand. Uh, it's supposed to have 80 plus light sounds and reactions. Uh, people have said it doesn't have that many but we will find out soon I'm sure. So you've got the crystal ball and the wand. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get this unpacked and opened. So the wand has got like um, a plastic sort of cable tie thing there. And I'll just cut this away here like that. Um, let's have a look at how it all works. It might be easier to just kind of cut along there. Oh, I like that. So here's the one. It's tied in at the bottom as well. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Just cut that out. There we go. So here's your magic wand. It's got a button on it, which I'm assuming is on and off. This set also comes with all its batteries that it needs. I think it takes six double A's and three triple A's. And just having a look at the bottom. There's not much. Just snip that out there. And the other side, this sticky tape there. Like that. And you can lift this out, or at least lift it up, so you can see underneath it, which is what I was trying to do. I was trying to see underneath because it's got these things that you can twist to open them. Um, I'm not sure which way they twist. Let's just cut the instructions away. Now, with this set, and um, I've read a bit about it, so you have to turn them this way to unlock them. That's one. I'm guessing that. Oh, this one's just come off. Um, I think you just turn them until they, uh, until they just come off. First, just got a little bit of a problematic one. I happen to have a rubbish bin right next to this, the uh, where I do my videos. So there we go, like that. And we have freed the crystal ball from its cardboard prison. It's quite a large and hefty item. I was surprised at how big it is. Um, you can see it's got this plastic bit on the front here, which obviously comes off. And if you look inside, you can see that it's got like um, a sort of a compartment in the bottom, which is where the little creature comes out of. And turning it around, there's other various bits and pieces. I'm not sure what that is on the back. You've got off, create and nightlight um, on the back here. You can have it as a nightlight if you wish as well. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that this bit comes off so that you can see what's inside it. And they've made it easy for us here because they've got a little sort of pull thing at the back like that. As you can see, it's got water all over it, little splashes and things, and that's because it works with water and water vapour. I have some water with me in case I need it. I've not looked into the instructions but I do have that. The creation process apparently takes about 10 minutes. 
so let's get out the instructions we've got a manual number two this one is it's in Spanish <laughs> this one's German instruction book two here we go and create your mixy right so those are the English ones so we've got instruction book one create your mixy so this is a nice little colorful instruction manual that shows you all the things you need to do to create your mixy which is the animal that's inside the crystal ball once it comes out it can tell you fortune and things so let's get started shall we right so how do you use your magic wand uh, so awaken the crystal ball so before you begin remove the printed wrap from the crystal ball remove the packaging lock from the back of the crystal ball so just turn this around there it is Okay, it just, it just comes out like that. I'm guessing that's so you can lift this off when the time comes. Right. Let's turn it back. There we go. It's got a speaker here as well because it will make sounds. Hopefully they will be magical sounds. So. On, off button, spell button, mixy button. So this is your mixy button. That's your spell button. And the on, off button is this one back here. So there it's, it's on now. So I've turned on the magic wand, which is the first thing we do. Wand movement one, jiggle wand upwards, the gem will glow pink. Oh, it's gone orange, but it was pink. There we go, it's pink. Wand movement two, jiggle it downwards, and it goes blue. There you go, it's blue. Wave the wand up and down, and it goes green. It did go green, it's going left of different colours. Oh, there we go, I just saw the green kind of like going through a rainbow of colours now but yes it, ha it does go green when I jiggle it once you've mastered these movements you're ready to create your mixy before you begin remove the printed wrap we've read that right so we turn it to create mode so just turn it on. there we go create mode Put it in the central. okay Use your wand to unleash the energy and light within to begin the creation spell. So jiggle it upwards, jiggle it downwards, wave it up and down, press the purple spell button. Step two, it will glow white. Is it glowing white? Oh, there we go. There. Now it started its water vapour, which is why there's water inside. I didn't need to add water myself. Okay, so jiggle it upwards. Jiggle it downwards. Press the purple spell button. Now it's going to glow purple. It's going green now. What does it do when it glows green? Oh, when it glows green, press the purple spell button. Magic has mix us. Now mix you will magically appear. It's going purple now. What I do when it glows purple. Jiggle it upwards. Jiggle it downwards. Put it up and down. I think I'm doing this in completely the wrong order. Oh, there we go. This is step four. It's gone back to normal now. Jiggle it upwards. Jiggle it downwards. Oh, 
okay, this is step five. Upwards. This is to teach it to say yes and no. And this teaches it to say maybe. Sounds like he's saying, I don't know. Magic is mix us. This is the final step. Take it upwards. Take it downwards. And wave it up and down. And then press the purple spell button. Here it comes. quite noisy isn't it? I can see it in there. It's got to lit up. So we take the ball to unlock it like that and there's the mixie. Look at all that smoke coming out of it. That's pretty neat isn't it? Oh it smells, it smells like burning. Um, so you use the scissors to cut the mixie free because he's, he's kind of stuck in there I think. Let's see. Can't find where it is around his legs. Oh, I see it. There we go. Has he got one? He's got one at the back too. I accidentally pressed the button and something happened. There we go. He's quite difficult to get out. I thought he was just going to appear there. Okay, let's move that to one side. So here's the little mixie. Just untangle him from all these bits and pieces. He's laughing quite a bit. There we go. Okay. So. Let's sit him down there. So there he is. The mixie. Or she. Or they. Whichever you prefer. Remember to name your mixie. Refer to instruction book two. To find out how to play with him. So. Instruction book two. It actually says patent pending on here. Which means they don't have a patent for the toy, so anyone could actually take the idea, I think, technically, and use it. Right, so, about the magic mixie. The spell mode. Quickly press the mixie button on the wand to enter spell mode. The mixie will say, spell or armless. Your magic mixie's gems will match the colour on the wand. If you jiggle it upwards, pink. Jiggle it downwards, blue. Or wave it up and down, it will cycle between the different colours. Just pick a spell, press the mixie button on the wand. Each colour represents a different spell. You've got pink for love, blue mystic, purple enchantment, orange fire, green power, red failed, and yellow nightning. Game mode, mixy mode. There's quite a lot of different things this does. You can tickle him. He's got like a... That's probably why he kept laughing at me. Nope, he's decided not to say anything else. Oh, there we go. That's why he kept um, making that noise when I took him out. Because I kept tickling him by accident. Tickling your mixie too much will lead to different reactions. Watch, that, watch out, you may get annoyed. He'll go to sleep when you leave him alone. Um, there's an on-off switch on the back. Fortune telling mode. Hold your hands down on your mixie's belly. Your mixie will say magic is fortunous. Ask him a yes-no question. Will it rain tomorrow? Um, yeah. <laughs> no surprise there, it's been raining most of the week. Ah oh dear, he's probably right. How do you name him? 
your crystal ball. Oh, that's how you can do nightlight mode. And you can put other items in the crystal ball as well. So uh, you take out the mixy thing that he came on, and then you can put something in the crystal ball to uh, to actually magically appear. And anything, even if it's like, you know, just whatever that will fit inside the crystal ball, of course. You can refill it with mist. Oh, that's that thing. I asked what that was earlier. That's to refill it with water. Mist refill. You can create more mist by refilling. Oh, and you can, there's lots of things to scan as well if you want to watch videos about it. I don't know if anything else will come out as a crystal ball. You can reset to reveal your magic mixie again. And reset to reveal your own toy. He's getting bored. Right, so. Spell mode. Belly sensor. Playing with your magic mixie. Fortune telling spell mode. Game mode tickling. Oh, I think just naming it, I don't think it'll actually say its name or anything. I think literally you can call it something. Let's call him, I don't know, um, Gary. Gary the Mixie. So there's lots of things that you can still do with this. If you enjoyed watching this video, I can make more actually showing you the different uh, things you can do with the Mixie itself. And... I don't know if there's anything else inside here either. I think you can make other stuff appear with it. Um, looking in there, I can't really see much, but I can see all the mechanics and stuff. Which is pretty neat. I'm not quite sure. I think that the, the flaps that were there originally have turned down, and then this has just come up so that you can get the mix in. You can also take this off and then put your own toys inside it, like it says in the instructions. And you can put this back on as well, of course. The mixie's falling asleep. There we go. Okay, that's kind of all misting up again. And there's more mist coming out of it. It seems to be like going to sleep. I'm not entirely sure if all this vapour is perhaps very good for um, like having it as a nightlight. know what's going on with it. Like I said, I don't know anything about this. It's been pretty fun so far though. I know with the cauldron you can put different things into it to actually create the mixing. So, if I take this off again, what's happened inside? Oh, there you go. The, uh, the mixy thing's gone back inside. And if I actually tip it forward, you can see that it's disappeared. There's lots of vapour in there. Oh, I see. It's just reset itself for the creation thing. Okay, I get that. Nothing else will come out of it, of course. I don't think there's anything else in it. But certainly quite interesting. Anyway, I'd better sign off here because this video is going on for 20 minutes now. I hope you've enjoyed watching my little forage into this, uh, this toy. Um... I'll have a little mess around with it, like behind the scenes, and um, I'll probably do another video about it in the future. Let me know as well what you think. If I get enough interest and likes on this video, then I might do the cauldron as well, because this is pretty fun. And it's nicely designed too. I can see why it won an award. 
If you want to see more videos of various unboxings etc you can click the links that come up below as always check out my Etsy New Monday I've got a plush sale going on at the moment to clear out some old stock or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi if you want to support what I do everything's always appreciated so that's all for now stay safe stay healthy and keep being awesome this is Silver signing off